We also have Ambassador Dame Maureen Tamno, former Nigerian ambassador to Jamaica, Belize, Haiti, and Dominican Republic. We also have Bro Felix Ameti Obwa, DSSRS, former PDP chairman, River State. We also have Right Honorable Chupidom Wuche, DSSRS, former rep representative, House of Representatives Speaker, House of Rep Representatives, a big pardon on that. We also have Dr. Fred Barvure Paco, DSSRS. We also have Honorable Sir M. O. Chinda, DSSRS. We also have Barrister Rufus N. Godwin, DSSRS. We also have Dr. Henry Ogiri, DSSRS. I beg your pardon, Professor. Henry Ogiri, DSSRS. Thank you so much. Thank you. With us also is Senator Philip Aduda, Senator Professor Sandy Ono, DSSRS, Senator Mao Ohuabunwa, DSSRS, Barrister Frank Ohuo, DSSRS. We also have Honorable Abraham Kwagwagu from Benway State. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, with us also is Right Honorable Ikunyo Wajibani, DSSRS, former Speaker, River State House of Assembly. All members of the National Assembly here seated, all members of the River State House of Assembly here present. Honorable Allwell Ihunda, DSSRS, the Mayor of Port Harcourt, and all Council Chairmen here seated. All traditional rulers and clergymen here present, all PDP, PDP state officers and local government party chairmen present, all GDI state officers and local government party chairmen here present. Gentlemen of the press, distinguished guests, all our audiences watching via the various platforms Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome. You're welcome. It's a new year. 2023 has come and gone, and of course, not without its challenges, all the battles, and the odds stacked against every single one of us here present. But here we are in 2024, and it is God's making. I think this is a great place to put our hands together. Yes, we deserve a proper round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome. Real quickly, can you just turn to the person who's sitting to your left and to your right and welcome them warmly, wish them a very happy 2024. Give them a compliment as well. Compliment Everyone is looking absolutely dashing today. I don't know how we came about it, but 2024 is the year that has been tagged. No, no grief, grief for, for anybody. anybody. <laughs> I don't know how we came about it, but no grief for anybody. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, one, welcome once again to a luncheon organized by none other than the man who has changed the infrastructural portrait of River State. I think it deserves a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. His Excellency Chief Barista Nyesum Ezebunwo Wike. Thank you very much for calling all of us together to celebrate this new year with you. We understand that His Excellency was not in town during the New Year's Day and he decided that this occasion should be organized where his friends, his associates, well-wishers, and of course, not excluding family members, will celebrate 2024 with him. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a lot has come in form. A lot has been put together and in place for your maximum enjoyment and entertainment. Once again, we want to welcome all our audiences who are watching us from the comfort of their homes and their all social media and mainstream media platforms. Thank you very much for being a part of this occasion. We, my co-host and I, are truly honored to be a part of this Thank event. You. Without any more delays at this time, we'd like to welcome for the opening remark, none other, than the Minority Leader of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable O.K. Chinda, to the microphone. I think this is the best place to put our hands together as we welcome for the opening address, please.
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it's a bit difficult for me to go through the protocols again, seeing the array of personalities that adorn this place, because I wouldn't want to leave anybody behind. So I will say welcome to all of us, but especially let me recognize our host for today. His Excellency, the former governor of River State, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, our leader and the leader by excellence, a proud son of River State, who is making us proud even outside the shores of this state. Your Excellency, we are grateful to you. Let me also quickly recognize his colleagues that are coming from outside the shores of River State. Your Excellency, the former governor of Enugu State, former governor of Benue State, we welcome you to River State. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, what we are here to celebrate today is normal. It's normal that every year our leader holds either a dinner or a luncheon for us. But incidentally, for 2023, assignments took him outside the shores of this country, so he was not at home. So we thank you, our leader, for still remembering to bring us together. I want to thank you, Your Excellency, again for giving me the privilege of presenting this remark. It's very rare. It's an opportunity that we might not get too many in our lifetime. So thank you for having this confidence in me. So on your behalf, I want to welcome everybody to this New Year luncheon. As we gather here today, firstly, we must say we are filled with gratitude to God Almighty for seeing us through 2023. Again, we are also filled with anticipation for the year ahead, 2024. This afternoon clearly is a celebration of new beginning. It's a celebration of cherished memories of 2023 and then a promise of brighter future in 2024. And I'm sure that that is what our host would wish all of us. As we come together to enjoy what he has put together for us, all we can say is thank you. And we'll continue to pray that the Almighty will enlarge his coast, give him the wisdom to swim through the sea of life, also to succeed through the vagaries of life. Of course, without challenges, then one should be dead. But we know, we have confidence in our host, who is our leader, that despite the challenges of life, he has always excelled, and he will continue to excel. And what we owe him, what we owe him is prayers for excellence. And that we know God will continue to answer our prayers. The same prayer we also extend to everyone that has honored this invitation. As we go about 2024, we pray for spirit of excellence above over all of us. And that when we are called again in 2025, we will all be gathered here. No one will be missing. <laughs> Let me again thank you for joining us to embark on this joyous occasion. And I will want to employ you to enjoy the ambience. We have seen the ambience of this beautiful banquet hall. And I have also seen the best of wine and drinks that are ready for us to serve and the meal that will be provided. So on behalf of our host, I want to welcome all of us and pray that 2024 will come with its good tidings. Welcome and God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Again, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together as we celebrate Right Honorable Ogundu Kingsley Chinda, DSSRS, former Minority Leader, Federal House. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Present. I beg your pardon, sir. I'll pay for that. I'll pay for that. Again, a round of applause for him, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for us to enjoy one of Port Harcourt 
hearts and I dare say Nigeria's musical treasures, making us proud all over the Niger Delta and Nigeria. Help me as I bring on stage none other than the sensational Bami Daily. A round of applause for him, ladies and gentlemen, please. <laughs> sensation of Bami Daily and very quickly in quick succession ladies and gentlemen give it up again for the Port Harcourt's male ensemble
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together once again for the Port Hackett Male Ensemble. And that was a truly powerful performance today. Distinguished guests, River State is arguably Nigeria's most hospitable state, home to every single tribe, every peoples. You will not tell the difference between Rivers Man and any other because we are welcoming. And it's a land that is rich in culture and so many beautiful people. Today we're proud to present to you one of River State's most talented cultural troupe and they go by the name Happy Entertainment. Let's welcome them.
of Nigeria but home base now for those coming in from Abuja those coming in from Lagos you know we have Lagos comedians we have Abuja comedians we also have Port Harcourt comedians and we are bringing one of our own for you to judge let's find out who is funnier please put your hands together your excellencies distinguished guests for the one and only Mwachi Good afternoon, distinguished guests. I thought you clap for me. Thank you for clapping for me. Thank you. It's like, okay, because of your excellence, I wanted to perform for only you people, but your excellency is here, so let me, you understand. Distinguished guests, welcome and happy new year. I like the way they balance the show. You know, this year they say no grief for anybody. As we bring church people finish, then go, we bring traditional people come. Balance the show. So we are not green for anybody this year. And I'm happy to be here. This is the first time I'm meeting Your Excellency in person. And uh, it's good to be here. You know, this is the new year, and I went to church today. My pastor said this is our year of fruitfulness. So if we are coming to church, we should bring fruit. It was today that I found out that it's not everything that looks like fruit that is fruit. Like tomato now is fruit. But do not put it inside fruit salad, it goes well. Do you understand? Pepper is fruit, but you cannot eat it. So today in church, they say bring fruit. Everybody was bringing fruit. Pastor was inspecting the fruits. So as pastor was inspecting, some people were coming with papa, guava, pineapple. One guy brought sugar cane. We don't know if sugar cane is fruit or not. Pastor was confused. He said, no worry, enter. The one that confused pastor was one guy that brought yam. We call the ask her, how is yam fruit? The guy said he's a farmer, it's the fruit of his labor. We say, no, wahala, enter. The one that confused us, one sister just came, no fruit. She was carrying her baby. We were looking, we were confused. Pastor said, ah, sister Kechi, where is your fruit? She said, I'm with my fruit. 
Say, where is your fruit? Some with my fruit. Say, where is the fruit? She said, I have the fruit of the womb. I said, so okay, fruit is fruit. Enter. And you know those kind of service? The Holy Spirit can move in different dimensions. The pastor was preaching. He said, okay, everybody raise your fruit. People that brought papa raise. The man that brought yam, raise his yam. The one that brought sugar cane, raise his sugar cane. Sister Nkechi also raised her own fruit of the womb. After praying, pastor said, the Holy Spirit is directing us that we are going to eat the fruit here in church. So everybody started looking at Sister Nkechi to first eat her own fruit. And distinguished guests, I also noticed that since this is the first day of the year, so this is the first Sunday of the year, some of us, we go to church not because we want to go to church. Like me, this morning I went to church because I want to charge my phone. Like my church, what they do is if you come late, they don't collect your socket. And there is this space in front of the altar that has socket. Nobody, they use them. So this Sunday, one guy came to church, all the socket is full. The only one that is free is the one in front. And pastor was preaching. You know that kind of thing? That's what they preach. You know, call for altar call. Somebody walk out from back, they come front. Pastor was confused in our post. He was looking at the guy. When the guy got to the front, he put an inside pocket, bring her charger, plug, bring her phone. The pastor said, my friend, will you stop that rubbish? Can you come and interrupt the service like this? Yeah, I said, pastor, everywhere don't fool, only here and I'm free. He said, my friend, what, are you, what do you mean? Why would you come and interrupt the service? The guy wanted to go, pastor, call him back, my friend, come back. Pastor put an inside your own pocket, bring her charger. Bring our phone, check if the other space is working. Thank you very much. My name is Wachi and have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much, Wachi. Great job. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for us to listen to one of another Portacot's musical treasures. They have exquisite, exquisite performance. They are a beautiful choir of male and female. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please listen to the exquisite choir.
Court Faculty, thank you for that exquisite performance and administration today. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the next performer is the Jaga Band of the Nigerian comedy industry. And he is doing big things globally with his representation, mimicry of His Excellency, the President of Nigeria, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Please put your hands together right now for the one and only MC BZ Now. Are we clapping or are we clapping? Please celebrate your home. Thank you very much. Thank you very Distinguished patriotic citizens of Nigeria and also the beloved people of Riverside, please once again put your hands together for yourselves. You all have done so well in putting out a banquet so unique and clean as this to celebrate the immediate past uh, governor of Rivers, who is currently the FCT minister and he's doing so well. <laughs> he's doing so well. I want thing I must tell you all. They say someone of, <laughs> I say somebody who knows what to be in charge of an office is, you must be stubborn to get the right result. True or false? Is it not true? Is it not true? And I must tell you, when I became the president of Nigeria, I said to myself, I don't need people who are weak. And that is why this administration is to make sure we put in the right people in the right places. Like I always say, a creative mind is a fertile land for growth. <laughs> when you are not fertile, is there anything to be planted? Nothing. You see, uh, this, uh, I say, leave him alone. He knows what he's doing, and he's doing the right uh, thing. You know, we are trying to make sure that in this administration, that we get Nigeria to work again. Our refineries and every other thing, inclusively the academic structure and nothing will be left aside but I plead with Nigerians my fellow citizens to bear and take the baby step it is not going to be all rosy but I promise you at the end of it who all rejoice together. For you to understand, any leader who doesn't have an objective 
should be careful of himself. When you are doing the right thing, not everybody will agree with you. But do it. And they will later benefit from it. They said I was going to come to the river state to see it. Even my say I will see it. Is it not here? Is it not here? And they were saying, no, nah, it's just a lesson. Am I not standing before you? Am I not standing before you? I told them, when we come into power, we hit the ground running. And that is how it should be. Progress upon progress upon progress. But all we need is patience. It doesn't work in one day. It do it in a time, but it will come to pass. So before I leave, on this note, I would like to let you all know. When I came into the I saw a lot of good infrastructures being done by the Indian past governor, the excellencies the police weekend. <laughs> I was lying and I was in. There was a song he was singing, fly over one, fly over two. I saw all of them today. And I like all of them. That is to tell you, in Yoruba, we say, I do really, oh, okay. Do you know the meaning? The crown of a peacock is not given to him after death, it comes from death. Through of us. Is always there and he has it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this being said, I want you to know that this administration is set to work and to make sure Nigeria is better. Enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I thought we'll be clapping for the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Are we clapping or are we clapping, ladies and gentlemen? And now very quickly, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for us to... Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, it is now time for us to give an opportunity for another very talented group of persons, help me as I bring on stage none other than the fragile dancers. A round of applause for them, please, ladies and gentlemen.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, please again a round of applause as we bring on stage none other than Dex Stalker. Wow. Ah. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, sons. Yeah, uh, it's a great privilege to stand before kings and queens today. My name is The Stoker, one of the first rising upcoming comedians. All right? Uh -huh. Appreciate me, waiting. Beautiful. Yeah, your excellency, sir. Yeah, I, I know you have a lot of responsibility, and this is New Year. Yeah, so before people used to adopt children, but this 2024, I've decided to adopt a father. Yes, because my father, not that he did not plan his life well, he did. But the country happened to him. Yes, like for me, when I was growing up, I want to be an astronaut engineer. When I see mathematics, I know I am funny. It's not easy. And I tell people, when anybody is doing anything, it's in a process. When I was in secondary school, my class prefect always write my name for list of noisemaker. He never knew I was in a process. Even the day I did not go to school, he wrote my name. I say, why? He said, no, say, where I did, I did make noise. But thank God today, that I classified that I wrote my name when we were young. At old age now, he's a hype man. Someone that wrote names of noise maker is not the one shouting, somebody make some no. <laughs> Your Excellency, sir, you really did well for Rivers, I won't lie to you. So this evening from airport, there's this run I don't know. I saw some boys selling on the road. I asked, what are you selling? He said, liquid rat poison. I said, I don't have rat. He said, I should buy it. He will give me rat. <laughs> and I said, okay, how do they use it? I have not come across liquid rat poison. He said, I should pack well. We packed. He said, there are three steps to use it. I said, number one. He said, you will fake catch the rat. I said, then number two. He said, you will give the rat two spoons in the morning. <laughs> now in life I don't know every level bring new devil I don't know I want the best comedian of the year five years in a row back to back but hell now God appreciate you know easy ah five years in a row sir did you know last week a girl now called me that my daughter is 12 years. How? Daughter 12 years, I'm not aware. So I come and hear him now. He says she's waiting for the right time. I don't know, say, my big man, they do DNA. Now, my poor man get pledged children. If you have to say, why your children pledge like this, say, my God, they pledge children. DNA is a cheater. Do you know they got the girl? I took the girl. I said, okay, let me go and do DNA. I drove from Lekki to Ikeja to go and do DNA. When I got to the office, I saw a woman with four children. The man was shouting. For what? Am I selling them? Am I selling them? I don't know what they were talking. The next thing, they just carried the four children. They left. The receptionist said, sir, you, me, and the 12 years. I got there, they said, what are you doing? I say, DNA. They say, which type? I didn't even know there are types of DNA. You know, saying, I want to get police case. They know when they're in the Nobel police station. <laughs> Am I communicating? <laughs> and I say, ah, DNA. They say, eh, which one I want to? I say, I want to know who born am. They say, paternity. I say, good. Tell them. Now they press laptop. Now the girl tell me say to do DNA, seven hundred and eighty thousand. Sir, immediately I heard seven hundred and eighty thousand. Me and the picking resemble. <laughs> I 
look here, I say you look, say daddy, I say you hear me. Now you get, say you not do it again. Now you begin to be daddy, I say wait, he say daddy, you funny dad. Life is beautiful. I appreciate the rich people because they are rich. The rich people appreciate. You know, say rich person appreciate give past woman. As that is so, if I give her a flower now, he go appreciate her. Give woman the same thing. So now flower you see. Because appreciation is the application to do more. Do you know I came back from UK last year November? I bought shoes. I gave one of my friends, Zara. Zara shoe. He said, Now Zara, I see buy from UK. He don't get passport to. Because whatever you don't appreciate, depreciate. Now tell me, say, Zara, when they sell for old shoes. Now I give me my shoe. He didn't give me. He said, one go buy. Go go buy Zara shoe for night. When they use candle, sell. In the morning, one wear shoe. Because he Z-A-R-O-A-M. Zaram. <laughs> I take this for free. Not everything you buy in traffic. My friend bought a dog in a traffic. Dog. You don't know the history of the dog? Two years now, dog never back. <laughs> With the finance, we carry the dog on vet. They say that deaf and dumb. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I've not introduced myself. I've not introduced myself. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I was in the spirits. My names are Ogene Kokoya, Ogene Burien, Onai the Desmond. They call me the comedy captains. The other one of Nigerian comedy. You know me the one of the Chukwe Kingdom. The other bed call you say one. Ego na bom one. Listen to me. By bed I be comedian and I phony. That you know me yet. I do sweet I say also. Me they not use your children at which for school. No, for example now, my children, sir, for example now, my children, and this camera man, children, this school, they want to wish. No, sir, they going to the children. <laughs> okay, daddy, for example, my children and your children. You know what happens, sir? I am my children to do your children's school. <laughs> if my children are even follow your children in this school, the school will call me to call Adi Munch. Now, listen to me. Listen, I want to say this for free. Please, this year, it goes sweet. But when you don't get better plan, it goes worse past last year. Am I communicating? Now, so you tell them, this time, I oh God, Chris, this Christmas, when this Christmas, when it just bad, a lot of things happen. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go into them. But I want to say this before I drop in mind. Poverty is real. It's real. This protocol now I see person, they said 10 ways to make it without help. I say, you don't read this book. He say read that they not work for that. I say, so why you want me to work for me? He said, destiny is different. Life goes sweet though. Sir, do you know why I was in no, no, no. My father did not believe in this career. He did not believe. Because my father was an MC, old MC. Then their own, if you call them, you will give them 2,000 with Siman Shinan. They will still bring speaker. A Wuja speaker that year. That time I follow my father. I never know I was doing IT. <laughs> to tell you that life is a process. Now me the test in my diet now. And that one I look up, call up, call up, it one, two. And I tell people, sir, whatever you do, sir, I read public admin in this school. This is, I don't say university. I graduated with two, two. The school take two, I take two. <laughs> so I don't like shooting. Don't look at me like that. My friend, I came out with first class. I borrowed him 200,000 yesterday. Come back, I went to study. 
This country, as you they grow, you get plan. The country they wait for you with their plan. No, just looking at this. Hey, give that one for Kenaiza. Sir, I did a lot of things. No, no, nobody had accidental success. Everything you work for it. From as a graduate, you know who said, I did Okada. I did the Undertaker. They said, I get height. I don't Undertaker. I don't let that. So the team of uh, women, they stop on who. Woman, one woman don't die. Two life stories, sir. One woman don't die. We go carry the woman from our Saba. Go Ago. We reach the woman husband's house. The woman don't really enter the company. All those of you go to enter the woman go back. Not be the answer. She don't be. And they call the team doctor and find out what they happen. They say the woman is best for the husband. What they happen? Say the woman cheated on her nine years ago. That's okay, no, we do, no, we try to identify the problem. Then you need to say, we need to return the woman back to the woman's family. Now, I'm going to be the boundary for the team. Now, I'm going to lead. Now, we carry the woman go back to the boss family. Two life story. Now, why I stop the work? Now, join comedy. As you read them, when they carry the woman, enter back the boss family. People, they die, you know, if you wake up, thank God, though. People, they die. As you they enter, I see one man, don't die. Inside the boss family, they do like this. I said, this is not that they say. What do you kill and they say, pride? <laughs> I said, okay, no wonder the Bible says pride goes before a fall. <laughs> now, see, we see the good side. I see one girl. Don't they do like this? I said, what do you kill and they say, gossip? <laughs> What's not concerned and then go boom out? <laughs> Life is beautiful. I want to say this. Always appreciate people. Please, I want to say this. And as you are drinking, because I'm dead in back said, I see a lot of drinks, sophisticated drink. As you are drinking, know your limits. I saw one guy missing Hennessy and Jack Daniel. I said, sir, the way you are drinking it, he said, keep quiet. How old are you? I said, sorry, sir. After 30 minutes, I asked him, sir, what is it by your time? He's doing hand like this. He said, 200 minutes to one. I said, sir, AM or PM, say MP3. Good night, my name is the soccer. Thank you so much. Your Excellency is distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Happy New Year once again to you. I believe I can safely say that we are having an incredible time here today. Thank you very much. Now we're going to make a little adjustment to our program. I'm sure you all have copies of the program. And we're going to tweak it just a bit to move on to something very important. At this time we're going to be taking goodwill messages and some gentlemen have been selected to give their goodwill messages this afternoon. And first on this list I'd like to invite to the stage the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Martin Amehune, Distinguished Service Star of River State.
His Excellency is a war news on Wiki, the former governor of River State, and the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, our leader, our father, the one that has decided to continue his good works, the one that has decided to continue to keep River State together, one who never forgets his friends, one who remembers his friends, one who knows the importance of friendship, one who values the good people of River State across the 23 local government areas. Your Excellency, on behalf of the good people, and of course, all the members of the 10th River State House of Assembly, we want to thank you first for inviting us to this luncheon and of course for the opportunity to address this gathering. Your Excellency, we are deeply humbled. We didn't know we were going to address this gathering this afternoon, but we thank you for this opportunity. Of course, it affords us the opportunity to speak to Rivers people given the events of the last few weeks in our dear state. Your Excellency, thank you so much. We want to also say thank you to all our leaders because there will be no need for me to begin to establish a new protocol. But just is a speech to say thank you to everybody, our leaders who are here, including the friends of our leader who flew in from other parts of this country to grace this occasion. We thank you for standing by our leader. Almighty God will keep all of you safe. And if you are, even as you go back to your various states, he will lead you safely. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I stand here before all of you on behalf of the 10th Assembly of River States. And to say that indeed this is 2024, it's a new year. And what can be better to start the year in this joyous mood, in this kind of atmosphere provided to all of us by our leader, an exemplary leader that cherishes people across the ethnic groups, across party lines. I feel so happy to be in this gathering. All the members who are here were delighted that we are your midst. Your Excellency, I cannot proceed to address this gathering without specially thanking you for your fatherly role. The 10th River City House of Assembly has asked me to thank you specially at the time when we thought we didn't have anybody. You stood by us and showed us love. We want the entire world to know that you are indeed our father and we will never disappoint you because we know that what you want us to do is to represent our various constituencies, is to make River State proud, to ensure that good laws are made for the good people of River State. And you are giving us your support. Your Excellency will not disappoint you, will not disappoint River people. We thank you so much for what you are doing for us. That said, let me also say thank you to our leaders across the states, across the various local government areas for all your prayers, for all your supports. We cannot proceed without saying thank you for your show of love. May God bless all of you bountifully in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, I want to say that this mood is not actually one that requests long speeches. We are here to celebrate with everybody, to celebrate with our leader. In fact, we wanted to fly to Abuja to say Happy New Year, only to be told that he was still away. And this is the opportunity to stand and rejoice with him. Because we know that the unity of River State is key. Across all the edges, the various ethnic groups, the unity of River State is important. It is not a time for division in our dear state. This is a time for rivers people to come together. It is not the time to begin to call the name of one ethnic group or the other. As we are standing before all of you, we represent the various ethnic groups, the various constituencies. And we are symbolic because 
we, we represent the unity of the state, and that is what our leader represents, unity of river states. And we're saying that we need to continue on this strive and not let anything at all bring division in our various ethnic groups. Your Excellency, we thank you. And we want to say that going forward, hopefully in the coming days, we'll be unveiling the legislative agenda for this year, year 2024. And we know that all we're going to be doing will be in the best interest of River State. For legislation, other areas that requires amendments, things that will benefit our people. And that will be our focus. And by the grace of God, Rivers people will hear from us in the coming days and we're determined, we remain on the third. Nothing will stop us, no effort by anybody will stop this 10th Rivers Tad of Assembly from performing our lawful duties in line with the 1999 Constitution as altered. Your Excellencies, our dear people, I want to say that we remain loyal to Rivers people. We remain loyal to the mandates given to us. We remain loyal to our commitment, all that we have promised our people during the electionary campaigns, we will not go back on any one of them. And by the grace of God, with your prayers, with the support of our leaders, I believe we will accomplish all our goals. Your Excellencies, thank you so much. We don't want to thank you on the long speech, but know that we're here deeply in our hearts. We appreciate all of you. And our prayer is that Almighty God, who is strengthening our leader, His Excellency, the leader of the states, will continue to keep him strong, will continue to provide for him, even as he continues in his good works in the FCT. What he even did in River States will be a tip of the iceberg. Our hope and prayer is that he will do even more for this country. And we thank Mr. President, the leader of this country. Mr. President has shown love to River States in terms of the appointments he has given to Rivers people. I don't know any state that has gotten as much as we have gotten. From almost every other week, we hear names of Rivers people across all the ethnic groups getting appointments into the government of our president, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinibu, GCFR. We thank Mr. President for an opportunity to tell him that what he has done by appointing the FCT minister, our leader, and for other river sons, we in the House of Assembly are grateful to him. We will give him the needed support, whatever we need to do for him to succeed. For the administration of His Excellency, the President, to succeed, we will do so. And it's our hope and prayer that he will succeed. We are hopeful and we thank all of you for this opportunity. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, that is the speaker of the 10th Rivers House of Assembly, Right Honorable Martin Amehule. Thank you very much for those very kind words. Indeed, today is a day of celebration, gratitude to God Almighty for a successful 2023, and in anticipation of his goodness, provision, sustenance, and of course, overall guidance as we step on into 2024. Still giving us goodwill messages this afternoon, I'd like to welcome the mayor of Port Harcourt City, the mayor of Port Harcourt. Ladies and gentlemen, none other than Honorable Alwell Ihunda, JPDSSRS, for his goodwill message. A round of applause, please, as he steps forward. Once again, welcoming and inviting the Mayor of Port Harcourt, Honorable Alwell Ihunda, JPDSSRS. Thank you, sir. Your Excellency Nyesum Ezonwike CON GSSRS Life Venture, former Governor of River State and the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, 
Your Excellencies, here present, the Right Honorable Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. Your Excellency, may I adopt the already well-established protocol. Your Excellencies, on behalf of my brothers, my colleagues, the Council Chairman here present, we thank God Almighty for another opportunity to be alive to witness the first Sunday of the year 2024. Your Excellency, we thank you greatly for inviting us to this launch today. Your Excellency, we are indeed very grateful to you. God has used you tremendously, even as Governor of River State and now Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. You have provided good leadership. Today, we can feel the impact of your leadership as the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. The River people are proud of you and will continue to remain thankful to God Almighty for giving us someone like you. Your Excellency, you are a Pan Rivers leader. You do not know boundaries. You, your appointments, your good leadership, your goodwill cuts across all the tribes in River State. And that shows that you are a very generous person. We say, Your Excellency, thank you. Today we are here to reaffirm our loyalty and our support to you, sir. Your the structure, the political structure that you have built in River State cannot be dismissed, cannot be just waved away like that. We want to assure you that we are strongly behind you and will continue to support you, will continue to work with you. Thank you and God bless us. We also want to use the opportunity to thank our president, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, for appointing our leader, His Excellency Yesu Mwizon Wiki, as the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. We thank him and other appointments that will have benefited just in a very short period as reverse people. We also thank the Speaker of the River State of Assembly and young members for the good leadership we have provided and for also ensuring that we have one river state, one river state, and there is continuous peace in our state. Thank you and God bless us. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that again is the mayor of Port Harcourt, accompanied and firmly supported by his brothers and colleagues, fellow local government chairmen. And to give us his goodwill message at this time, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome the Senator representing River Southeast Senatorial District, Senator Barinada PD, DSSRS. So please come forward and deliver his goodwill message. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, especially to all our online audiences and everyone who's listening and watching this event at home in the comfort of their sitting rooms. Once again, this is the Senator representing River Southeast Senatorial District, Senator Barry Madame D. DSSRS. Your Excellency, our leader, and the leader of the modern river state, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, His Excellency Ezebonye Sonwike, other Excellencies that are here, especially my brother, the former governor of Enugu State, my colleague from the House of Representatives, the former governor of Benue State, 
the leader of the Rivers Elders Council, the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, not forgetting about the Rivers Caucus leader in the House, in the National Assembly, my brother, Uncle Luchinda. Your Excellency, we don't intend to bother you right here. But on behalf of the ten of us who are your ambassadors in Abuja, Your Excellency, we just want to inform you, just like we started from the 319 wards of River State, we descend in the 23 LGAs, we descend in the 32 constituencies, Your Excellency, we descend in all our 13 federal constituencies, we descend in the three senatorial district. Your Excellency, I need to be biased a little. I am from the River South East Senatorial District. When since the creation of River State, it was difficult, very, very difficult for us from the River South East Senatorial District to have a governorship candidate, just a candidate. Your Excellency, because of your benevolence, you remembered the people of the River South East Senatorial District. I have to be biased in this aspect because the name Nyesom Ezeboe Wike, you remembered us. You remember the good people of Asa. You remember the good people of Undoki. You remember the good people of Eleme. You remember the good people of Time. You remember the good people of Gokana. You remember the good people of Opobo. You remember the good people of Unkoro. Your Excellency also remember the good people of Andoni. You remember the good people of Kana local government. Today, by your benevolence, single-handedly, I can say the River South is senatorial district. We have produced a governorship candidate. A governorship candidate that turns to be a governor. Your Excellency, in no doubt, my colleagues that are here, from my leader, that to all the people standing here, we toyed and we produced a governor. I want for the singular effort of those watching us of here to say, without us, without us, the leaders of River State and the members of the National Assembly and the 27 members of the River State House of Assembly, there wouldn't have been any governorship or a governor sitting in River State. At all be persuaded by whatever thing we are saying. We are grateful to you as people from River South East Senatorial District. We want to say thank you. We want to thank the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, our leader. Your Excellency, you know it was when you sang that your song and you say, Oh, yeah, never, oh, yeah, never. You were not personally buried at any point in time trying to be selfish. You say, give to him what belongs to what this. You took the biblical injunction or give to Caesar what belongs to what Caesar. Today we have a certain president. I am not at all pushed. My leader, let me say on behalf of all that are standing here from the National Assembly, we do your bid 
we will do what? You are the push us. We are ready to be pushed. Whatever thing that suits his the president, I mean Bola Tinubu, that is what we are going to do. Whatever that comes back that home here that suits as the boy yes or weekend, that's what we are going to do. Ask any reverse person anywhere they are hiding because this is the political structure of the state. We are together with you. God bless you, my Your Excellency. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much, Senator Barinadan, PE, representing the River South East Senatorial District. River Stock was tell me something. River Stock was tell me something. You say, if you don't follow me so we can, no follow Kona Kona. River Stock was tell me something. River Stock was tell me something. River Stock was tell me something. You say, we may follow the song we get, no follow Kona Kona. Rivers will tell us something. Ah! Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, once again, especially sending our greetings to everyone who's watching the NTA via Channels TV, via TBC and AIT. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Real quick, to bring us his goodwill message, I would like to welcome former members of the River State as led by the immediate past speaker, and that is Right Honorable Ikunyawachi Bani DSSRS. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for them as they come forward for their Google message. From our members of the River State House of Assembly, led by the immediate past speaker of the River State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Ikunyawa Chikani, DSSRS. Thank you, the 2024 okay. so like, <laughs> 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 I believe at this point the house has been called to order. Your Excellency, the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, good friends, former governors of respective states in Nigeria, and members of the G5 who are here. The Speaker of the 10th River State House of Assembly. Our dear leaders who are here seated. Former members from the various sessions of River State House of Assembly. I thought when I was called upon to speak that I would be speaking on behalf of the Ninth Assembly, but I can see that uh, there are several former members who are here. But, <laughs> Your Excellency, let me on a lighter note say this. You know why you were governor of the state and I was speaker of River State House of Assembly? You will always say that after your governorship, that you will not become a member of any former organization. <laughs> now you have formed 
this association as former members of Riverside House of Assembly by asking me to come and speak on behalf of former members. So this association is there and is there for you. Well, my dear good people of River State and those who are our friends from the beginning till this day, let me say that goodwill is earned, it's not bought, it's not purchased anywhere. What we find today, the association that the Minister of ACT has is a product of goodwill. <laughs> On behalf of former members of River State House of Assembly, I can proudly say and state in all material particular that we chose to live a satisfied life and not a successful life as philosophers. If you live a satisfied life, you will choose to do that which satisfies you and which satisfies your conscience. Following Governor Nyeso Mezewong, the former governor of River State and current minister of the Federal Capital Territory, satisfies our conscience and our aspirations. For me and for member, former members of River State House of Assembly, there is no war, there is no battle to fight. No. If you are a man of good will, you don't need to knock on anybody's door when you are around, when you have anything to do. That is why you can see a good number of former members of River State House of Assembly coming here today to identify with the man who has shown leadership, who has shown courage, who has shown goodwill, who has shown friendship, who believes, who believes that if he eats, his neighbor should also eat. He is a detribalized leader. I worked under him for eight years. Let me say this for those who might not understand leadership and followership. Leadership and followership are two key indicators of human existence. It is either you are a follower or you are a leader. If you are following, you must follow well. If you are leading, you must lead well. And for any man who uses evil to pay for good, it's in Proverbs, it's scriptural. Evil shall not depart from the house of any man who uses evil to pay for good. For those of us who are former members of River State House of Assembly, as I stand to speak, we shall not and we cannot and we shall never use evil to pay for the good you have done for us. Therefore, today we have come because you invited us to a luncheon. We are here to celebrate with all people of good will all over Nigeria. Today, first Sunday of 2024, we have gathered us. You know that people don't have food to eat. There are those who are not here. They are yearning to be here. Your message by the time you deliver, we shall also deliver to them. But on behalf of former members of River State House of Assembly, let me once again wish you a Happy New Year can see our excellency here, we also extend same to our mother, who showed exemplary leadership, who showed quality in motherhood, and to the children that we are not also seeing here, extend same greetings and regards, because we know that you are a family man, you are one that has a family that is so united and monolithic. Therefore, there is nothing that can deter you because your foundation is a foundation that is very strong. Therefore, 
members of former members of River Sense as myself. We wish you a happy and joyous new year. Thank you and God bless you. We will continue in You know that the, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Ahmed Bola Tinibu GCFA, has done so well. What Rivaste cannot achieve for over two decades of uninterrupted democracy. Over two decades of uninterrupted democracy in Nigeria. Nigeria's democracy is not nascent again. A child of 20 years is, has graduated from the university. President Ahmed Bola Tinibu has made it possible today. Placing River State on the canvas of political history of Nigeria in terms of achievement is one thing that we we'll continue to enjoy and we we'll give such support wherever we are as former members of River State as per se. You know, as speaker, in the legislature, we always conduct our business with motion. It is therefore that I will rest on that foundation to put the question. Okay. Because members have been itching to raise emotion. But let me suspend all standing rules and only put the question and not requesting for motion. Yes. <laughs> I therefore put the question. If you are in support yes, sir. Yes, sir. that what President Ahmed Bola Tinibu is doing in the current administration, making Nigeria to work, making Nigeria to be good again, and that his lieutenant, the Honorable Minister of FCT, the Honorable, the His Excellency, yes, of AC one weekend, have been a square, a rampage in a round hole, and is doing better. The image of River State. If you are in support of such, can you indicate by raising your hands? Those in favor? Including serving members. Including serving members. Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Those against, say nay. The eyes are big. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Once again, that was the immediate past speaker of the River State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Ikumiyo Wajibani, DSSRS leading former members of the River State House of Assembly. Thank you so much. Thank you. It is said that. Ladies and gentlemen, it is said that during evening services, we do not listen or preach God's sermon. That I will speak in the language of my people, the other people. They will say, like that church in Yassi. When we have, or to talk about church in Yassi, that's how we say it. Or to talk about the church in Yassi. So at this point, I'd like to humbly ask, those who are coming up next for their Google messages to please give, up, give us the abridged versions of their Google messages. Please give us abridged versions of your Google messages. And at this time, I'd like to welcome former commissioners and special advisors here in River State, as led by the immediate past Attorney General of the State and former Commissioner for Justice, None other than Professor Zakios Adango, DSSRS, to please lead former commissioners and special advisors as they come forward for their goodwill message, led by once again the immediate past Attorney General of the State and Commissioner for Justice, Professor Zakios Adango, DSSRS. You are 
Your Excellency, yes, sir. We can see you where Jesus is our political father, our mentor, our foundation, our albatross, our anchor. Your Excellency, and all the excellencies here present, please permit me to lean on protocols that the come here has already properly established. Your Excellency, here with me today are former commissioners and special advisors that served in different administrations, especially during your administration. First, Your Excellency, we want to use this medium to thank the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for appointing you Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. Of course, there is no doubt that Abuja is beginning to feel your presence. What you did here in eight years, you are beginning to replicate it in Abuja. I want to thank you for that. Your Excellency, second, is to thank you for making us what we are today and giving us the opportunity to serve in various capacities and to reassure you that we will never shift, we will never shake, we will stand with you in every circumstance. Your Excellency, as principled politicians, will believe that every river that forgets its source runs dry. Your Excellency, let me also thank you. For about 24 years, there were very serious agitations in River State for the shift of power. There was the horizontal agitation for a shift to the river line. There was the vertical agitation for a shift to the river southeast central district. There was a need to cause an intersection of both agitations and to get a candidate that would satisfy both the vertical and the horizontal agitations. In your wisdom, you were able to solve that puzzle both a river right candidate and a candidate from the River State South East Central District and you <laughs> go to the trenches and go to work and deliver this candidate test of Louis or moved to the field we delivered and brought back the result to you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, that same machinery is still alive. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. The storm may be dear for a while, but joy will come in the morning. Your Excellency, we want to assure you once again that we are firmly and solidly with you and behind you today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, and forever. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much once again with the former commissioners and special advisors, of course, led by Professor Zaga Tatango, AGS and former commissioner for justice, and of course, the person who spoke as an immediate past commissioner for works, Alabo Das Judge. Thank you.
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. So much to say, and I'm sure if given the opportunity, more groups would want to speak this evening, but of course we do not have all the time for all the speeches. But as I, as I said before, and for those who already know and would agree that River State is arguably the most hospitable state in all of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And we play host to people from every work of life, every ethnic group, every geopolitical zone, and I must say ethnic extraction. And of course, we have people who are non-indigenous, leaving, doing business and thriving in River States. And today, they would like to give their goodwill message. And I'd like to, at this time, welcome non-indigenous in River States, led by Honorable Emeka Omoum. And of course, to speak on their behalf is Sir uh, Joel Onyuka. Let's put our hands together for the non-indigenous in River State. His Excellency, His Excellency, Ayala the members of the High School, let me stand by the already established protocol. On behalf of our leader, the immediate past Commissioner for Special Duties, Governors of his neighbor state, Honorable Sir Chukwebega Olohu, Aya Sodike, we, the national body of knowledge with our brothers, are here today to reaffirm our stand, our support to His Excellency, the Minister of FCT, Chief Minister E.L. Wike. His Excellency, you can also agree with me that non-indigenous without borders under the leadership of Emeko Olohu have been doing something that is very, very remarkable to support your ideology. I remember in the past 2013, to be precisely, when we started GDI. Most of us started from GDI. And by special grace of God, we have every reason to support you and support what you believe in. The reason being that we, the non-indigenous, have not seen it like this before. We had a situation in this state when they told us that as soon as you entered or emerged as governor of River State, that you will chase all the non indigenous out of River State. His Excellency, it is not only a march as the governor of River State then, you march strongly and you carry non indigenous along. I also want to bring to your notice that you are the only governor who appointed, through your time as a governor, who appointed non indigenous for two consecutive. Hello. Uninterrupted two consecutive channel. And Mekono will serve as commissioner. It has not happened in River State. And therefore, we have sat down as ourselves. We cannot be in great. What most of us are enjoying in River State today is a mere privilege. And we will bow here under God Almighty that we will never. Take it for granted. Therefore, His Excellency, on behalf of National Body of Knowledge with our brothers, we want to say it here without any fear or favor from our various local governments. I represent the Bure local government knowledge with our brothers. My chairman is here. His Excellency, we are solidly behind you. No, 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 no. 
We have only this why we are standing behind you. We, have, we never had it this way before. There was something you told us during this last uh, uh, election. He says, I was one of the persons that you got for meeting and you assured us something. And at the end of the day, that thing that assured us manifested. I want to tell you that because you are sincere, because you are sincere, not only teaching with others, we will be sincere to you. And in a way to prove that our sincerity is to support whatever thing you ask us through a people know who to do. If you pray at body language, we will start to do it before you give the order. Yes. We will do it because I know how it is. I know what we went through when we are forming GDI. I know what we went through to convince the Igbos, more especially, to vote for the person we have today as the governor. I know the pains it took some of us to convince our brothers and sisters out there to make sure that they supported this uh, new governor. But it's unfortunate that such is life. But the Excellency, be rest assured. Whether the devil likes it or not, the knowledge digits is in your pocket. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Let me borrow your words. You will always tell us to go home and relax with your two eyes closed. Yes. Tell us something. We are ready to do it. Thank you and God bless you. Yes. Thank you so much. Once again, the non indigenous living in the states. And that is a group, ladies and gentlemen, led by Honorable Emeka Onoum. Thank you very much for those very kind words. And now to bring on stage I'd like to welcome very quickly former local government chairman of River State, led by Bro Felix Ogwa, and of course their speaker today is Dr. Fred Bako DSSRS. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to humbly invite all former local government chairmen in the state. Please begin to make your way upstage for your goodwill message. If you have served as a local government chairman, please come up stage. Yeah, Excellency, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, our Father and our Master. Please, 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 one has, one has. A journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. 24 years ago, I still counting. All the men you are seeing here have been local government chairmen at one time to the other. Our father we are celebrating here today was a former local government chairman. And he started from that point. As a local government chairman, you are the chief accounting officer and the chief security officer. And these local government chairmen you see here are the infantry politicians. They command the, the, the ground. And our master that is here. In fact, they are pushing on me that uh, since August started with us, that he should come and join with us. I have the honor to invite the former president of Argo, the former president of Argo in Nigeria, to come and join us. <laughs> that is the former president of Argo in the whole of Nigeria. That is it. 
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. He started with us, all of us. He started, that is where his policy started from. And he rose until he became the president of Argo in the whole of Nigeria. And also became, he represented Nigeria at the Commonwealth. So he's somebody who started very well. And he is doing it very well with us. His command structures are there in the 23 local governments. And his command structure is in Nigeria. All of us that are here are totally, committedly, unreservedly, and usually loyal to him. And we assure everybody that we stand by him, we respect his ideas, we will back him up, come rain, come shine. He is somebody we can trust, he is somebody we can rely on, and all of us are very prepared to work at any point in time. Sir, you are our father, and as a father, we will give you that honor. And as a father, command us wherever you want us to go, and we will go. We want to thank Mr. President for seeing him fit. You have not only appointed him, you have appointed a conglomerate of other people, of which all of us here are members. Sir, thank you, Mr. President, for the appointment you've given to him, and he's using the appointment judiciously well. Thank you very much, and God bless all of us. And so he is identifying proudly with his colleagues. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome the new Rivers Women Vision. You have one minute for your goodwill message. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the new Rivers Women Vision. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to also welcome their leader, Lady Justina Emeji. Please come forward, leading the new Rivers Women Vision for their goodwill message at this time. We would like to humbly ask again that you please give us the abridged version of your speeches. Thank you. Okay. 
follow them you go thank you so much the new rivers women vision thank you very very much Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome at this time the Grassroots Development Initiative, GDI, as led by their leader, Right Honorable Bright Amehuli. Led by their leader, Bright Amehuli. And you have under three minutes for your speech. Please prepare the shorter version of your speech. We'd like to welcome GDI Grassroot Development Initiative, led by their leader, Brighta Mehuli. Please begin to make your way upstage for your goodwill message. Thank you once again to the New Rivers Women Vision. Thank you so much. Just to clarify that this is the entrance and that's the exit. Former governor of River State, the very strong and powerful minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the grassroots governor and the grassroots minister, other distinguished and respected dignitaries here present, we as GDI leadership at national level, local government level, the world level, the community level, because even at the worldwide level, because GDI is all about grassroots. We are here today to tell the world that we are still totally in support of the good works of our grand patron, the, federal, the Minister of Federal Capital Territory, Chief Barrister Eze Buwan Nyesum Wike, the Deacon of Hawan of Ikwede Kingdom. Please, our respected and distinguished invitees, we want to inform you all that GDI came on board in 2011 against 2012. And that was set up under the leadership of our Grand Patron, the Minister of Federal Capital Territory today. And what it was all about was to bring grassroots leadership down, uh, grassroots development, and the development of the people down to the grassroots, down to the community, the first of its kind since the existence of River States when government is being formed and only at the center that government is organized those are the grassroots are not, uh, uh, not being recognized but from the emergence of chief Wike, and then even the chairman of the party then go around we they make sure that this government that their government go down to grassroots and that is why we're happy today all of us are serious here our faces are very bright our faces where all of us are happy because under his administration we built houses we bought cars, our children went to school, school students have been paid for people, health care was put in care of. Naked wire! Naked wire! And then we are happy to marry. On a Chief I said the more we can has all honestly been a source of joy to the people of the grassroots. He said, let's see, we want to assure you once again that come rain, come sun. Because, because, 
we know that God Almighty has more for you. So, we are assuring you that at any point in time, even when we are sleeping, because we know that there's no sleeping moment, there's no dull moment for GDI, we will be out there to defend you, to defend reversible. All this one that they are doing, shouting from left, right, and center, cannot hold water because they're not you. politicians and they don't care for the grassroots. So we don't also care for them. Let them reign for a while. Thank God you. will speak and operate will pretend. Thank you and God bless all of us. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, that is, and that was GDI, the Grassroots Development Initiative, led by Bright Amehuli. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, GDI. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and to all our audiences who are watching via the various platforms covering this event live, it is my honor and my pleasure, and with all sense of humility and pride as well, that I bring on stage our next speaker, a very special guest at today's event, a member of the G5 Governors and an immediate past governor of Benway State. Please, Your Excellency's distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, shall we welcome for his goodwill message, His Excellency Samuel Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me specially recognize our leader and friend and brother, Governor Nusin Wiki, and all of you that are here today. Today I'm here with the former governor of Enugu State, Governor Uwanyin, speaking on behalf of the G5 governors. All of us would have been here today because we recognize Governor Nisi Wiki as leader of the G5. <laughs> Governor Ikpeazu is in Lagos today because his son is getting married. Today, in Lagos. And we have to sacrifice this with his consent that we have to be here to honor this invitation, though it came belatedly. Governor Makinde, who is the youth leader of the G5 governors, is in USA on vacation with his family. That is why you have not seen him. And of course, you know that he's your in-law. He wouldn't have done anything otherwise because he respects our brother Governor Nisi Wike because without him, he wouldn't have had children. He did his service here and he got married here and today he had children and have done so well. It is the blessings from River State that made him to be governor, two times governor of your state. Today, we, the G5 governors, are going to talk about our president, Governor Bola Ahmed Tinibu, who is our leader today. 
We'll talk about Nisi Wiki and we're going to talk about River State. Three things, but very brief. We're not going to take your time. President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, we are very proud of you. We are happy that you made it because the aim and the ambition of G5 was that a southern president will emerge after the northern president. And for us, God answered our prayers by Tinibu becoming the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. For those of us who are Christians, we know that John 3, 27 says that a man can receive nothing except it's given to him from above. It is God that gave President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, and all of us must support him. You are aware that the position of G5 during the last administration was that the former administration took Nigeria from top to bottom. Top to bottom. Top to bottom. They said it three times. It is not an easy task for President Bola Metinibu to come in. We have to be patient. We have to understand with him. We have to be prayerful. We have to work together to ensure that he succeeds. It is not easy to bring things from bottom to top. Nigeria was taken back 50 years. Back 50 years. President Bola Metinibu with the likes of our brother, Governor Nisi Wiki, by the grace of God, and with all of us supporting the administration, we shall get to that level in Jesus' name. Amen. So I want all of us to support, irrespective of our party affiliation. Let us work, because Nigeria cannot exist when we have no Nigeria. But if we work, to ensure that Bola Ahmed succeeds, there will be tomorrow for anybody to even contest election at all. Our leader, Governor Nisi Wike, have already made a declaration that in 2027, we are supporting President Bola Ahmed Tinibu. We have nowhere to go. Because that is what Nigerians believe. Even the past administration, that took Nigeria from top to bottom. We allowed them to work for eight years. So why can't a seasoned administrator, a seasoned politician, in the person of President Mora Ahmed Tinibu, to rule us for eight years? And I believe by the eight years, we shall get out of this world. The security challenges we have will be out of it. The economic problems we have will be out of it. And all the social problems we have by the grace of God, we shall be out of it. I want to appreciate God Almighty for our brother, Governor Jason Wike, and now the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And to thank Mr. President for identifying him. A great Nigerian, a depredalized Nigerian, a man with passion for God and compassion for humanity. I'm his bosom friend. I know what people come to me to benefit from him. What he has been, the impact he has reached out to not just River State, but to the rest of Nigeria. He has done so much. This is a great man. You may not appreciate him here in River State, but I tell you, it is a confirmation of what the Bible says, that the prophet do not have respect in his own country. If at any time you decide that Wike is not needed in River State, please borrow him to Benue State, or borrow him to Enugu State, borrow him to Abia State, borrow him to River to, to, to Oyo State. We have seen his family, a great man, a visionary leader, a man who believes in one Nigeria, a man who reaches out, who has built bridges across the land of Nigeria. This man must be appreciated. We cherish him, we honor him, and on behalf of the G5, we want to say that we stay with him for life. 
will continue to work with him because they have shown that exemplary leadership. And I'm very happy that Rivers people, by the confirmation of what you have said here, it's clear to us that we have not made any mistake by following this, our leader. We remain committed. God will bless you, God will keep you, and God will help all of us because we need a united Nigeria to make things work in this country. River State people, you are great Nigerians. You are great people of destiny. You have done so well in the past, and you have a leader who is ready to unite all of us. I want to appreciate you. Let Rivers, as we know it in the past, to be peaceful. Let it continue to be peaceful. Those people who are propelling and encouraging ambers of hatred and disunity should be discouraged from doing that. We must work together. We must ensure that the legacies that were built by our brother Governor Nisi Wiki continues so that this state will continue to give sense of belonging and leadership to the rest of our country, Nigeria. We believe in this young man because he had the traits and he had the capacity, he had the leadership to even lead not just River State or Federal Capital Territory, but that's that this country. We thank God for President Bola Metinibu for identifying him and making him the most sensible and intelligent and also a ministry in the Federal Capital Territory of our government in Nigeria by making him the Federal Minister of Federal Capital Territory. We appreciate him and we believe that by the grace of God he will turn things around. Go to Abuja today. For those of you who have not been there, go there today. You see all levels of development in administration, in infrastructure, and all it takes is because of our brother here. My brother, God will bless you. God will keep you. I want to say, lastly, to the people of Lima State, that please, including our brother, the governor, he said something which I cherish and I appreciate it. He said that there is no amount of sacrifice that can be given for the sake of peace. Let him live to that world. We must work together. Peace must reign in River State. It is unneedful for anybody to bring crisis in River State. River State has ever been known as a peaceful state and it must continue. The governor must come on board with his benefactor, our brother Governor Nisi Wike, and work to ensure peace and progress for the people of Rivers State. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you so much. His Excellency Samuel Otom GSSRS, a member of the G5 governors. And who in Nigeria or in Africa would say is unaware of the impact of the G5 governors? At this point, Your Excellencies, and with the permission of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, I would like to move a motion. All those in favor of loaning His Excellency the FCT Minister to Benway State, say aye. All those opposed to it, say nay. 
Governor Tom, no show for Benue people. The nays have it in overwhelming victory. Thank you so much. At this time, for his goodwill message, I'd like to welcome the leader of the PDP Elders Forum here in River State, none other than Chief Ferdinand Alabrava, DSSRS. As he comes forward for his goodwill message, Your Excellency, Your Excellency, yes, from Ezra Wiki, our dear leader, former Governor of River State, Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. The Excellency is the former governor of Enugu State, former governor of Benue State. The Right Honorable the Speaker, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, from what we have seen so far, with all the groups that have come up, there is no doubt that the wicked family, the wicked house, is very much intact. <laughs> and yet, let's say, I can assure you that the elders' forum is very much intact as well. <laughs> yes, let's see. This forum, a lot of visitors to River State envied you. Because in all your campaigns, in all your outings, in the 23 local government areas, these are the faces that were with you and brought out a successor as well. I'll be very brief because a lot has been spoken, as, as I said. I'll make two quick points. The elders were part of the process that brought out your successor. I am an Ijo man. You are an Ikori man. Oh, her too is an equator man. And with your principle of rotation, which you exhibited at the federal level, also at the state level, for anybody to bring ethnic politics into River State, that has to be condemned in totality. has to be condemned in totality because you are a very destabilized man. Destabilized man. River State, during your tenure, achieved the highest pedestal in the Community of Nations in this country. And your legacy will endure for generations to come. Your former governors, former governors of the state, but various fora declared you the best governor River State has ever produced. 
I hope they have not changed. I hope they have not changed their stand in that regard. No, they can't change. They and they cannot change again. Your Excellency, Your Excellency, where we are today is to tell you that the elders who can need to be with you and ensure that we support you whatever you wish for yourself. And we know that God Almighty will protect and guide you in all your activities in the years ahead. Thank you very much and God bless you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, that again was a chairman of the Rivers PDP Elders Forum, Chief Ferdinand de Labraba, DSSRS. At this time, I'd like to welcome and invite on stage for his goodwill message, the National Vice Chairman, PDP South South, Chief Dan Orby. Let's put our hands together for him as he comes forward for his goodwill message. The National Vice Chairman, South South of the People's Democratic Party, Chief Dan Orby. Thank you. Your Excellency, our Chief Host, the Honorable Minister of FCT, and very distinguished guests present here. Let me join other past speakers to appreciate and thank the Honorable Minister FCT for providing us this atmosphere where we have come to interact and celebrate with him the New Year 2024. For those who know me, I'm a friend and a brother. But today, I've been invited to speak, not as a friend, but as national chairman, PDP South South. I really want to take this opportunity to thank the good people of River State for what they have done for our party since 1999. Let me also use this opportunity to thank the Honorable Minister for what he has done in the past to keep PDP alive, not only in River State, but in the South South and Nigeria. On behalf 
of the Zona Executive of our great party and the leaders and members of PDP in the South South. I want to thank you and appreciate you for the good work you have done in River State and the good work you are doing in the Federal Capital Territory. You are indeed an ambassador, not only of River State, but for the PDP. <laughs> Let me also say here, there is nothing we cannot do to advance the cause of nation building. It is for all Nigerians. It is not just for PDP, APC, or any other party. We have a responsibility to build Nigeria of our dream. On this note, I want to thank you and appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much for those very reassuring words. Ladies and gentlemen, that was again the National Vice Chairman of the PDP South South, Chief Dan Orby. And now for his goodwill message, please join me in welcoming on stage the National Vice Chairman of the APC, that is the All Progressives Congress South South, and that is none other than Chief Honorable Victor Tambari Gyadom, JP. Inviting on stage for his goodwill message, the National Vice Chairman of the APC South South, Chief Honorable Victor Tambari Gyadom, JP.
and our president, the performing president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Admetinibu, will continue to hold you and work with you. For us in the All Progressive Congress, our coming to this place this afternoon is not about political party. Yesterday, my brother paid me a very, very important visit in my village. And I remain grateful to you for that visit. But just to let you know that as a political party, we are aware that our main business in politics is to unite River State. Continue to unite River State. This kind of unity, the unity we have today in River State is not easy to be, to, to be accomplished. We owe you that support, we owe you that friendship, and we are praying. We have consulted a lot of prayer warriors so that you will change your mind and leave the PDP. I call and come and join our party. That prayer, I know it will work. Amen. If you are in support of that prayer, say aye. God bless you.
senator of a man that has been organized by the two major political parties in Nigeria. They are both here. I have seen all the PDP and all the APC leaders recognized both by their parties and by the organ that recognizes party administration. They are all here. And I'm very happy to speak as the very great man you are talking about is my constituent. I am a senator. Clap for me. You know, when I came in here and I saw the very selected, wonderful Nigerian that I was highly elected. I was supposed to be to have been here earlier, but I want to apologize for not being here yet. He knows where I went to, and so I came in here. I'm not supposed to speak because a senior senator has spoken, Barry uh, Pigi. But I am speaking because this concerns me. He is my own. Everything you are talking about is to talk about me. Because it's me I'm talking about, he is my own. So if I don't speak here, then it is not complete. And I went to him and I spoke to him, this won't be complete if I don't speak. He agreed, he knows. He said, he must speak. You can see that he has said he's a full job, ready to speak. He said, no, I have to speak. And so, I am very happy to be here. The man you are looking at is a wonderful person. You can't find enough adjectives and adverts to describe him. The man has been a facilitator to almost everyone who is here. Ordinarily, I would be the Senate because it was not always going to be easy. I knew those I had as opponents. A former governor, a former transport minister, a sitting senator, and a very sagacious. I won't mention this name, it's very me. They were all ready to go there. And they were very qualified. And please give me that music. In the bar, in the bar. Olegi, hey, musician. In the bar, in the bar. For me, I don't want to say what you have done to reverse people in their life. 
Especially recognize such as some. They probably will come so much. And I want to say that all those that have come out to speak, to say what they have done, we are not playing to the gallery. They said exactly what the man is. He is a talking do. So I want to thank you. I want to tell you that don't be bothered about everything that is going on. It's normal in human life. It's very normal. The important thing is that everyone knows that you've done well and you are still doing well. You front Abuja, Abuja has started changing. I have Abuja senator, former senator from Abuja. He can see Abuja has changed. You can see that people went to organize a, a, a very small uh, program. Uh, we gave us go, we gave us go, we gave us go today. The next day, a local government of people came out and said, we came on stay. But now they hear me about that one again. That's because what he did in the river, they are sending there to Abuja. I am happy that he's my constituent. So thank you very much for coming here today to sit with me. I want to thank everyone that we must continue to support him. He fought for River State. He did not fight for Iguiri. He did not fight for anybody. He fought for River State. He fought for VAT. He fought for so many things. So, your Excellency, God will continue to keep you. And I'm happy that you are my constituent. So, please laugh for me. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen. That again is Senator Orwell Onye, so thank you very, very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, it is my honor and my pleasure and a rare privilege to invite this man on stage for his address. A man who is undoubtedly linked to the success of many people directly and indirectly involved in the establishment of many people who will call themselves successful and established people, not just here in River State, but in the whole of the country. A man who worked so hard changing the infrastructural portrait of River State, so much so that the opposition president awarded him best in infrastructure in the whole of Nigeria. The leader of the G5 governors, Although some people consider them the minority in terms of number, but they, they were a thorn in the flesh of everyone who stood in their way. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this time I'd like to welcome a man who some people consider an enigma, hard to understand, but others say he's an open book. Please join me as we welcome on stage the immediate past governor of River State and the present minister of the federal capital country. Your Excellency, my dear brother, very dependable ally, and my friend, the former governor of Enugu State. Grand service time of River State. My brother, a fine wine. Who came with the governor, former governor of Benue State? Dr. Tom, who left after his speech because of his engagement in Benue State. Of course, they represented the G5 
like I said, the former governor of Fabia State, Ibazu, his son, was getting married today, and all of us were supposed to be there. Unfortunately, there was this clash of program. And then the youth leader of our group, the governor of your state, Shei Makende, who is a U.S. and uh, I think you'll be arriving this night. Our dear leaders, my dear speaker, who has uh, abandoned us and moved to the other side, we will meet in the battlefield at the appropriate time. <laughs> and the chairman of the other council, very at his age, 84, shows leadership. He's like a very young man, but not a young man, 84 years, who always want peace anywhere he is, and he continues to promote and preach peace. Very, by the grace of God, God has given me everything. And so you could say, look, I'm not interested. But for him, at this point in time, God has given me the opportunity to participate at this level. I will continue to preach peace. He was the one who presented me the form to run an election in 2014. Chief Ferdinand Labrador. The former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, who, of course, is my in law, I have no regret to marry from a man. They gave me a good wife, and I have no regret. The Chairman of the Rivers State and General Rivers Council. Maybe today I will speak part of it. So you know that. Life. Life is not about money or this or that. Life is about relationship. Life is about impact on other people's life. Chief, I would say, all of us know, in those days of politics, people fear Chief, I would say. All the world still talking today. They couldn't talk before Chief House in those days. Today is the Parliament ruler and Nemuele Emoa. Although the fourth chairman, River State National Glass Council, uh -huh. Sergeant Chidi, I will say. The zonal chairman of our party, zonal chairman of my party who likes titles even though I do not know the meaning of the titles they give him <laughs> any, any title you call him is very protected I'm the this of Umurumbu I'm this of, I'm this of Ogode what is the meaning? leave it I'm this <laughs> but very dependable human being I will talk about it today. Chief Dan Obi. The general chairman of APC, who was my friend, was until yesterday. Until yesterday, was my friend. They abandoned me. They took him to school and said, <laughs> My brother. And let me tell you about things in life. There's no money. Vito Gerdom, even though he left, we are still communicating. And nobody can say Victor has ever insulted me anywhere. On the pages of newspaper, on the television, never. 
He was looking for power for his party. I was looking for power for my party. And so I said, my brother, friendship will not share. I will take it home. Chief Victor Tombare Giadom. The two chairmen of well, I don't want to say the two important parties in Nigeria. Okay, they are, but it what is important, which was important there. The what they did now was to steal my people. I was crying here when I saw all the assembly members came here. Uh, and then he introduced them that the speaker of the House of Assembly, who is our party member, the members of the State of Assembly, who are party members, I put my face down. This young man who came to preach here today, I know how to be, but he told me. They didn't tell me they are moving. What they said, if they have told me, I would have refused. So they said they had to do the needful. But we'll talk about that later at the appropriate uh, time. <laughs> so, the two chairmen, the chairman of my party has not been happy. He comes to me every day. He says, sir, I'm not comfortable, I'm not happy. That's what happened. He said, how can I be minority? Did I start with minority? I said, no brother, this politics is me, I'm tired of. I said, what do you want me to do? He said, you are the one who brought them. I said, ah, is it the only, are they the only ones I brought? Why do you think I have influence on them? I will not have influence on other people. If you didn't do it, Aaron Chukwemega and the chairman of ABC, Tony Okocha, I greet all of you. <laughs> the two ambassadors, prominent ambassadors, former chairman of my party, who still remains in the party, a federal commission, revenue mobilization, fiscal commission. Ambassador Desmond Akawo, who was my DG. He was my DG when I was running for wow. governorship. Two time DG. Did very well. And I never abandoned him. And I will not abandon him. And the uh, ambassador who represented Nigeria in Jamaica and all other countries I may not be able to mention who was former chairman of Ogubolo. I was not happy with her at that time. I fought her. But she defeated us. But she's still my friend. Warren Tamuno. I thank you most sincerely. The chairman of chairman, the man who is part of everything I will speak about it today who was denied everything because he wanted to support me they took his house they took everything he owed and he said no problem I will not succumb I will continue to work with you <laughs> Felix Obua Alas Goran. My dear leader, who has made name in this country, former Attorney General, former MBA President, and by the grace of God, former Chairman of Body of uh, Ventures, OCJ Okocha and his dear wife. A guy in my own who had money, one money had value. Uh, if you know him, 
if you know him is if only one will tell you the truth before it used to be a matter of facility but now it's a matter of rendezvous rendezvous it's a matter of rendezvous if you know him very well my dear minority leader most of you may not have known the minority leader I have never in my life seen a human being who is so consistent, who is so reliable. I'm not saying it here for anybody. I, I, I will tell you a story. I will cut it at the appropriate time. Ogundu, Kingsley, Chinda. The executive director of finance administration. Anakia, Anakia, Anime. When it was tough in 2013-2014, I told him quit, and he did. Today, he's the executive director of finance and administration. Uh, but he's weighing so many people. Some of them are by my right here. I will not mention their, their names. <laughs> my dear brothers, sisters, particularly Senator Mayor Ohabwa, Senator Sandadi, who they are trying to remove him as national secretary. I told him, go and pray. Is if God says you will be, you will be. If God says you will not be, I cannot do it. Yes. Is there? Senator Sam, I am. I greet you. The man who handed over to me, first of all, to be Deputy National President of Aragon, who laid a foundation for me to be the National President of Aragon, even when the pressure was too much. I went to his house. I left here. I go to his house 4 a.m. in the morning. I knocked at his gate. Hit the gate. He and his wife came and said they would not let them die. Who is this person? I said, sir, I know you have a candidate. <laughs> I said, sir, I know you have a candidate. But I want to hand over myself to you. Support me. The wife said, for this man to have come now, my husband, support him. And that's how I supported me, I became Deputy National President of Alcon. And they call him original Katapia. Uh, Unfortunately, he didn't answer Budoza. If he had answered Budoza, we would have crushed him. Because we have only one Budoza. Oh, huh. Sergeant Chidi Awuse. My lord, the former judge of the Federal High Court, my sister, the DJ of the, what's the institute again? I think we have a judicial institute, I don't know. What, what was it called? Okay, sometimes I forget some of these things in my life. Just the main judicial uh, institute. You know I did this? I did this to hurt somebody. And the man, the person is here. It's my nephew and his uncle. And there's an uncle and the senior. Uh, so uh, he does not have any position now. He was a former, former House of Rest member. Anna, yo, Ken, Chikere. I did it purposely, so you know what we are talking about. <laughs> members of National Assembly and those who have come to the Senate High, members of the State uh, Assembly, Council Chairman, who have demonstrated courage, <laughs> demonstrated courage, because I know what people are planning. 
to do against you. God is infinite mercy will not allow that. Amen. I salute all of you. Party chairman, state school of the PDP and FDC. I want to thank all of you for coming here. My brothers who came from the diaspora, particularly Dr. Chitru Adele, who has always made sure that my health, every day he called, ah, what's your sugar level? I say, come. Now you will tell me, uh, what did I go chop? I know go chop. Man must die one day. What's your BP level? Consistently, show brotherhood, show love. Not because of money. Former commissioners who are here, who have shown support to all of us, particularly those who had this problem that they left the council. Most of you have challenges, problems, because of me, let me say that God Almighty, who gave you this mind to be courageous, who gave this mind to be firm and stand for the truth, will never abandon you. Yeah. Party chairman who are here, those who have not gotten anything by the grace of God. Whatever God says you will get, you will get. Yeah. So, today for me is one of those days that why should break down? Mm -mm. But I will not. Mm. I spoke with my friends before now. And I told them, look, it's life. It's not everything you invest, you will reap. People establish companies, it crumbles. You have to be alive to make sure the companies come back. So you cannot say, oh, I did this, I'm not benefiting. No, no, no. God knows why things happen the way it happened. You cannot. But whatever, it, what is important in life, to God be the glory Amen. that you are alive to see what is happening. When a man is dead, you don't know what is uh, happening. So you'll be able to advise your children. You'll be able to advise your friends. See, while I was alive, at my age, see what I saw. Don't allow yourself to be a victim of this. Don't. I don't know what I uh, hear my uh, this guy from one boy from Edo. Is he here? He hear my where is he? Come. 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 I will tell I will use some of these words as an example so you you know what I'm talking about. Learn in life. This young man, I will tell you, because we are talking about Happy New Year, but you can't talk about Happy New Year without sort of going back to 2023 and the years I won. When the heat was on, on in Edo State, this young man was a front runner of the governorship uh, election. PDP governors came. They spoke to me. We met in government house Port Harcourt from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Mm. the next day. People like blackmail, propaganda. When you don't want to do your own part, you bring blackmail and uh, propaganda. This young man, pressure, I told him which if done hobby, withdraw. Don't run for this governorship again. 
He was crying. The robin was crying. I said, look, leave it. No, don't run. And there we agreed what we give it to their group. We agreed. It's okay. He spent such an amount of money, let them give them back. Give them four commissioners. Not one was kept. Not one was kept. I just okay, you run for Senate in the next election. Not one was kept. And then the next thing you see, blackmail. We can want to control this. We can want to control this. But you didn't know we can want to control when you came to government hospital court to see from 6 p.m. to 6 uh, a.m. Blackmail. Blackmail. This was a young man. I told him, withdraw. Don't run. They were crying. What did we get? Blackmail. We can't do this. We can't even do this. But we can't wasn't bad. When we can start from 6 p.m. to 6 uh, a.m. and said, look, withdraw. And he withdrew. That's what you see in politics. Where the French Obwa? Is he here? Come. Come. Is Boma here? Yeah, yeah. Come. Some of you may not know why I said this. Sorry, so far. In 2013-2014, when I had one Ill illiterate, and that's why I asked one of the law lecturers, you mean this man will be a lawyer? This man is reading law in the university and he will pass? Shame. I heard he, he was talking about how he took me to somebody. Felix Obwa was in our team as chairman of the party. My predecessor sees Felix Obwa every property he had land, school, hotel, sees it. That how can he dare to say we chairman of party when he had born you this one. This is it. The wife came to him. Because the wife calls him daddy. He said, look, what kind of what are we going to face? Our properties are gone. Everything's gone. He told the wife, don't worry. If it's the will of God, that's nothing you can uh, do. He stood firm. They took everything he had. My Pensero did it. He said, no. Thank you. I will not succumb. In 2020 governorship election, he was one of the front run, uh, runners. I called him in my house. I said, he must step down now. He won't run. He looked at me and said, no, he won't run. I said you won't run. He said, "What? If that were what I'm saying, you will not run." I said, "Okay, you will be DG. Go and campaign for that election." He said, "He said, you must be DG. Go and campaign for the election, which I told you, you will not run." And he said, sir, if that's what you want, I'll go and do it. Oh. And he did it. I've 
seen all kinds of things going on, talking evil about him, all those things. But he's here, faithful. And he said, it doesn't matter. I will still be there. And he's there. I will not call the Zona Chairman to come here. But let me tell you people something. The Zona Chairman stand up. Danobi. God used this man to give all the structure of the party to run for governorship election. God used this man. And I will never in my life it doesn't matter the circumstances to abandon him and deny him. This man. Some of you are not even in the position to know. We had one of the most powerful politicians in this country. He said, okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. I was stand firm. And he did. You see, when people talk, you don't even have, have the facts. They talk this and talk that and talk that. He said, where is this thing coming from? Where am I going this far? He said, let you know that I don't abandon people who have stood for me, who have identified with me, I may, I may not do what you exactly want me to do. But for me, to turn my eye on you, I will not do that. It's not in my character. And I will not do it. I'm just trying to let you, so you know. When people open their mouth, they talk. People who don't know anything. They just say, hey, we took you to a social place in the villa. Illiterate. Illiterate. You know, I just laugh. I'm sure they are, they are seeing me, they are hearing me. Hear me well. Children, even though you like a lot of titles, I don't know the one to call you. All the titles belong to you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, both of them, all of them, called them, I was one who paid for the forms. For anybody who wants to run an election, not as governor, House of Assembly, National Assembly. Let one person raise his hand to say he bought from. Let one person. We said we are all family members. There's no need to bring acrimony in our house. Don't spend their money. We will agree on who will run. The day we took the final decision. The chairman of Edda's council nearly collapsed. He's here, Federal Labrava. He nearly collapsed. OCJ was there. Chief Awuse was there. Omeha was there. I am calling names so you know. OCJ was there. It's OCJ, has he left? Is he OCJ is there? <clears throat> he was there. Fedi was there. Awuse was there. Omeha was there. If you know what happened, he nearly collapsed. Why? He wanted a governor for the Riverland uh, area. When I looked at him, I said, How will I allow this old man to just die? I said, Look, whatever it is, let's not create the impression that there are people who want to monopolize power. Let's allow everybody to be part of it. We belong to one reverse uh, state. He's here. If I wanted, nobody would have stopped me. Nobody had what it takes to even near me. Nobody. I said, no, I will do what is right. And I did it. And all of us agreed. And to God be the glory, I will not regret what I did. I will never regret what I did because I want the unity of this state for us to forge ahead. And I will not do it. If I wanted a great man, nobody would stop me. Nobody had what it takes to have stopped me.
So, for me, life is okay. You see, I will give you an example. One man is late from rivers. I told my friend, Chief O.M. is him late. From a primary love room, Amy. He had a problem. I will not mention the problem. He had a problem. And when we went to see him, everything he had was brought down. So people say, oh, let us do this. You know what he said? Sit down. Why do they have shock absorber in a car? Why? Why do you have shock uh, absorber? He can marry today. She lives tomorrow morning. Will he die? No. You have to be alive to marry another wife. It's not true. No. You buy global 7,000. It crashes. Will he die? You buy a car. I'm rubber takes it on the road. Will you die? You must have shock. Uh, oh. That is the only way you can survive. So I'm telling all of you who are always cry. Hey, this one. If you want to survive in life, you must have a shock. Uh, oh. President Tribu told me. When we were meeting, he said, look. Somebody told him, don't try this very okay. Politics and betrayal are the same mother and father. So. If you don't want to be betrayed, don't enter into politics. I don't know what it's talking about. Yes, so, don't bother that anybody betrayed you. If you are in politics, betrayal and politics, that is the same mother and father. So, don't bother. Prepare yourself that it will happen. Prepare yourself. Someone has seen most of you. You go, hey, 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 I can't believe this will happen. Where do you go? I found one good uh, whiskey and I drink. This was, no, this was not prepared. I am fully prepared because I know. That's what President Tribu taught me. He said, look, if you don't want to be betrayed, don't enter politics. The day you will enter politics, then prepare yourself, you must be betrayed. So, I'm laying these foundations so that some of you who are worried that the terror should not be. That is life for you. You must prepare yourself to know that these things happen. This is a speaker people are talking about. When I was chairman of council, he was the leader of the legislative assembly. This young man, bless him, intelligent, committed, trustworthy. From Legislative from leader, leader 1999. 1999. So when he became leader, the when he became speaker, you can see most of you say, hey, if they remove me, wouldn't I go chop? What is that? What is that? Okay, Chinda. When I was chairman of was my legal advisor of the council. Was my legal advisor of the council. From there, he grew to commissioner. From there, he went and said, Look, I said, Let's go. They don't need us here. We left. And some of the assembly boards here, whom I have known, have shown that consistency. And I can tell you, we have for you today is not money. It's not money. So many people are talking about what they don't know. I have preached and I could not to preach for the unity, for the peace in the state. And I was signed for it. Ask people what happened. Why this matter got to this level? 
When people go and plot to the remove our speaker, and you think we'll fold our hands, you remove speaker, we'll start with you first. Who will start with you first? You want to humiliate all the other people? You want to humiliate us? To remove speaker? Eh? Hey. Now, so after the fight, now you go take a verse. So people just talk. Everybody will just talk, talk, talk. You want to remove this person? You don't know, go walk. All of you here. When people say I should go and talk to the assembly members, I say why? They say you brought them. I say ah, I brought them. When did I not bring them? So these people will listen to me. You, you will not uh, listen. Assembly people don't they have wives? Don't they have families? And they're not on their own. Oh, council chairman, don't respect anybody. I said, how can council chairman not respect? When you see people plotting evils, evil against a team, and nobody wants to talk because you want to perpetually remain in office. Council chairman, if you want to remain, stay there. I was council chairman. No regret. When you read social media, you will not drink anything from my hand. I know that way. If you see social media, you will think that this man, nah, the most evil. Look, I went to Lagos. The chief of staff had something. I went there. Somebody was there. Who again was me? Uh, uh, go down. A minute I enter the place, every Nigerian want to snap with me. I said, what? I told the Goran. I said, what's going on? If I was in the world, you know I was in the world, but now I'm no longer there now. <laughs> if I tell you what I said, God, let me, let me, I have no see this picture, so. Everybody. So I told the uh, Goran, Kobo, is it me that people want to snap out them? Is it devil or ghost? <laughs> to the point that my friend Chief was said, Come, are you the one doing the party? Am I not doing the party? I said, Yeah, you are invited me out. The next day we went to the chairman of the FRS. He was doing Sunday. Everybody. Okay. We want to take cell phone which I beg you. Ah. I said, if I'm collecting money, you know how much I will make? <laughs> we went to London. The money were at London Terminal 5, Heathrow. I was like, I don't know how many Nigerians can. can we carry a luggage? I said, what is this? Even in the train. Okay, so I beg snap with me, small, small, just snap with me. So that told me something. You must make impact. That's it. That's it, you must make impact on people's uh, life. Whatever position you find in your life, make impact. Forget about these people who cannot face me to fight me. I've consumed them before. I have. I have consumed them before. And I'll continue to consume them. Don't bother. Do you people say everything. Some people say, okay, Che, Che. I say, come. You don't have a, you don't have anything to do. This ones. I know them. They're my children. I will tell them where to go, they will go. So why you worry yourself? Am I machetting? No. Looking very well. <laughs> and 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 address address I mean I, I mean address uh, some people uh, I won't call their name here. I will call their name. One day, see me. Oh boy. 
which can't it be this show them the way follow my way no wrong even as they are watching me now they see me glittering If you didn't take, you didn't take. Seize the mama, bum, 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 The policies we are playing in this state is the policies of unity of river state. No party. Yesterday, when I visited uh, Victor Gadam, I went with all PDP leaders. Today, he's here. He came with all APC leaders. Membership of party is not on radio or television. So, all we are talking about is how River State will move uh, forward. Not this one, that one, that one. Like uh, Chief General Alabama said, some people who are going to say, I'm the best governor. What has happened in the history of Niger Delta? Today, <laughs> Tanga, very wicked boy. So, I just want to say that. Today, I just want to make one confession to you. I work with Mr. President. And I have no, there's no way I can disobey Mr. President. It's not possible. Whether I'm even working with you on the matter of fact, Mr. President calls you. Say, look, I want peace here. There's no way I can disobey Mr. President. I may not be happy in all resolution, but you have a duty. If Mr. President calls for peace, who are you to say you don't want uh, peace? I will not attach any condition to what Mr. President has told me. So. I will not do it. So. I will not do it. So. so I will always obey Mr. President and I will do everything humanly possible to see that his peace arrangement is achieved Amen. in reverse. That is what is required. And I'm going to do that. But let me say one thing. Yes, I'm not to say I'm perfect. Every decision I take, I'm right. No. I'm human. I may take a decision that may not be palatable with everybody. But by my position, I influence you to accept it. And you accept it. And it turns out to be bad. Forgive me. I say forgive me because yes, my judgment may have fallen. But I owe it up to say yes. Forgive me. Let us move forward for the interest of the state. That is what's important. Don't say, oh, the, no, 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 no. Don't. The way I took the decision, which you may not have been happy, but you listen to me. I want to also appeal with you. Listen to me now. And accept. Accept what Mr. President has said. Accept what Mr. President has uh, said. 
it is for the interest of River State and for Nigeria in general. That's what I want to tell you all the time. It may not be the best, but you have no option to accept it. And I can assure you, like so many people have said here, to give me means of FCT, Mr. President took a lot of risk. People protested to him, but he stood firm and said, look, I want the best for this place. So if you could do that, you too, they should give in and say, Mr. President. And that's why I will thank, I will thank Speaker. When we came back from the Abuja, within the next 48 hours, the Speaker and his members took the decision to obey Mr. President without attaching any condition. Mr. Speaker and your members, I want to thank all of you for respecting Mr. President's view. He may not be, it may not have been the best, but we must respect him. And that is the only way this country can move uh, forward. So my dear brothers and sisters, whether you are APC, whether you are PDP, whether you don't even belong to any of the parties, as an ordinary Nigerian, as a businessman, we owe a duty to give Mr. President support to move this country forward. Some people say betrayal of PDP. I never betrayed PDP. GIFA never betrayed PDP. We should firm. We told Nigerians, we will not do this if this is not uh, done. So the issue of betrayal does not uh, come in. We say, look, do this, we'll do this. If we don't do this, it means that we are not part of this country. And we stood firm. And I owe apologies to nobody. And my colleagues owe an apologies to anybody. We stood firm. And that's why there's stability today in this country. I will make, most of them may have lost election. It's a sacrifice they will pay. Uguay he lost. It's a sacrifice he paid. Autumn lost. Sacrifice he paid. He passed lost. Sacrifice he paid. You must make sacrifice for the development of your country. That is what it takes. So this is not about being right, being right, being right. No, 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 no. So I want to assure all of you, nobody should shake. I will not allow this state to be divided on ethnic uh, land. I will not, I will support that. All those who are creating division, Division will be in their families. Amen. When I won 2019, some of the people who are claiming to be elders were those who wrote to the president Buhari then that I should not be declared as the winner. Some of you don't even know. Those who are signing to us elders. When I won, they wrote to the president. Tell her neck not to declare me. In 2014, when I was to run for governorship, that man like I was there. He went with me to LMS Street. One or two persons said that they had that. I said, you, consider yourself. Something's wrong with you, all of you. I left the place. I said, this man, come on, let's go here. How can two people consider themselves as uh, that? And these are the people today uh, signing this sign. Them. So, you know, we took this time to let you know some of the information you may not uh, have. It's not that we want to know. We are made of our man. Peace is peace. But let me tell anybody, I fought courtism in this state. Let nobody think that you will intimidate any of us. Nobody. Nobody will not get bad person for a house. Nobody will not get mad man for a house. No, so. Everybody has one bad person, who done? Everybody has one bad person in his house. Everybody has one madman. So don't think that you're the only one who can produce madmen and bad people. I have seven children, for example. One may be the, one, the bad one. You may have 10. One may be the mad person. When the time comes, you see a madman is behaving. And you see how the other person will uh, behave. So, Put everybody 
together. Don't allow the state to be engulfed on crisis. It does not because you took the state when the state was peaceful and allowed it to continue to be peaceful because it is your own advantage that when I came, there was peace. When I'm here, there is peace. When I'm living, there is a peace. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. At this point in time, it is now my singular honor and privilege to respectfully ask that we charge our glasses, please. Can we charge our glasses for the toast? And it is also my honor and privilege to call most respectfully to the podium none other than Professor Senator Sandy Honor, the gubernatorial candidate in Cross River State of PDP, former Deputy National Chairman of Argon, the personality, the man who handed over to our chief host. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please give a proper round of applause as he comes to propose a toast. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. It was the great Chino Achebe who said that when kinsmen are invited to the playground to serve a beautiful meal, it is not because they do not have enough food in their respective houses. It is because when king's men come together to eat together, to celebrate together, there is a certain warmth, a certain brotherhood that is cultivated in the process. That is exactly what we are witnessing here today. His Excellency Nyesam Wike has invited us as friends, as kinsmen, as brothers and sisters across the aisle, across political parties, across geo-ethnic divides, across religious persuasion to come at the beginning of the year to celebrate with him on God's own goodness. Your Excellency, the Honorable Minister for FCT, we have come, we have joined you, we have enjoyed, and we are witnesses to the warmth and the camaraderie that this atmosphere of affords us. Please do ensure that every year you keep this ritual going. It is beautiful, it is exciting, and we are happy. Your Excellency, over eight years ago, we came here when you were inaugurated as governor of River State. 
After you are eight years in office, many overwhelmingly concluded that the infrastructural transformation that has occurred in River State is unprecedented. You did not just transform River State, you transmogrified River State infrastructurally. Indeed, it is safe to say that you are the architect of modern development in River State. We are very proud of you. It is true that a couple of people today, a few, are making some irrelevant noises. Every great man must, by his greatness, attract some enemies. And there is something called jealousy, Your Excellency. And let me make the point before all of us that jealousy is both a physical and spiritual phenomenon. If you go to Ezekiel 8.3, you will find in the Bible where Ezekiel was lifted by God and taken to the north point of the temple where he beheld the throne of jealousy. So jealousy is a principality in the spirit. So you expect detractors. But because God is with you, the harder they come, the harder they fall. I have told people that you are an exemplary friend. In many respects, you have wondered sometimes when you say to me, why is it that I put in my all when I'm supporting a brother? Why is it that I throw in everything when I'm supporting a kinsman? Why do I give my all? Why do they enjoy that excessiveness at that time? Why do they reap from that intensity? Only for them when I have put them in places. Only for them when they have an opportunity to turn their backs at me. As Mr. President has told you, betrayal and politics go together. But let me assure you by the grace of God, when one betrays you, 10,000 will stand by you. You have been promoted to the FCT to demonstrate to Nigerians what you have been celebrated for in River State. Let me, on behalf of all your friends and well-wishers, announce to Nigerians that in the next six months, Abuja will wear a completely different face. There will be a festival of commissioning of projects in Abuja. Because the one man who is a performer extraordinary is Minister of the FCT. When that time comes, Your Excellency, please do invite Sensational Bamidele because we will dance and Mr. President will be happy and vindicated that he put a round peg in a round hole. It is on this note, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, that I please request that we rise for the toast. To the health of Chief Yesom Wike, to the health of Rivers people, to the health of the President of the Federal Republic and Nigeria. Hip, hip, hip! Hip, hip, hip! Hip, hip, hip! Yes! Welcome back from the live telecast. We'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned.
Break it. TVC News. First with breaking it. From secured bustling ports to serene coastal communities, a successful and eventful year it has been for the Nigerian Navy in fulfilling our constitutional mandate. With inspiring leadership provided by the 22nd Indigenous Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ikechuku Ogala, Admiralty Medal, 2023 was a journey through waves of accomplishments, strategic partnerships, and strengthening of bonds that transcend borders. Welcome to the Nigerian Navy in Focus. My name is Olua Toyasi Awotunde. This edition of the program captures those eventful and accomplished moments of 2023. Stay tuned as it promises to be very enlightening. Ensuring the security integrity of a nation's territory encompassing air, land and sea stands as the paramount objective for militaries both home and away. Indeed, a country's strength or vulnerability is assessed based on its military prowess and importance. Within the framework of Nigeria's armed forces, the Nigerian Navy assumes the exclusive responsibility of safeguarding the autonomy of the nation's territory along